Yeah, okay, so, I got a lot of requests. Can, can you post tarantula videos today? <laughs> yeah, so, when was my last upload? Where I was on four days ago. Yeah, so I guess it's time for a new video. Been super busy with all the uh, lawn work here. Uh, today I told around a 10 hour shift with uh, 10 lawns plus two one hour tutoring sessions. So, kind of a busy day and productive too. Made a lot of money too, so that's a plus, certainly. Uh, so, uh, I guess we'll go on to the new video that I'm trying to save on my computer before uploading to YouTube, but it's not actually doing so. Uh, it is Tarantula Feeding Video 71. I made it on the 15th. Well, right now it's 12.43 a.m. The morning of the 17th. But the problem is with uh, this video, uh, apparently, again, like the previous feeding video, one of the movie files is corrupted, so I'm not sure which actually the file is responsible for that. But uh, rest assured, it's going to take me a little while to find out which one. Um, my computer has been very slow recently. Um, granted, this laptop is around five years old, so I think the hard drive is what we call kaput. I don't think it's going to last much longer, so I'm going to have to buy a new computer eventually. Okay, so um, some important tea news uh, regarding the mature males. Um, the T. Ocherty from Blade, uh, he's still living. Bubbles. Um, the female unfortunately molted out, so he's going to be trying again. Uh, the P. Metallica, uh, Bruce Carr does not have it anymore. He gave it to Bill, which was originally supposed to go to him, so now hopefully we're going to see if there's any news on that. Um, Armando will probably be my main contact. Uh, as I said in the feeding video, uh, Armando is uh, giving me a mature male P camera drive so I can try to attempt to breed Trina once again, which is cool. Um, then Sinister, uh, that's uh, Long Zone uh, 666, is currently. Jesse called me up tonight telling me that uh, he's actually currently witnessing this uh, mating attempt. He gave me the lowdown on what's been happening. Uh, basically, the female was unreceptive until like the last half hour, where she started to become surprisingly very active. My male, um, as you know, he did his second sperm web. He tried to drum. He did drum for a bit. He tried to go for the female, made two or three fake attempts, and then he skedaddled out of there. So, failed mating attempt, but at least the male is still living and up for another try. So that's uh, pretty good, I guess. Alright, so we got some uh, good news and bad news. So I guess we'll start off with the bad news first. So uh, if you saw that, that tarantula feeding video, which you will see, uh, my Ephopa cyanonathus was currently molting. But unfortunately, to tell you that it passed away, no surprise, this was actually my third one. And uh, it does. This does happen from time to time with tarantulas. Uh, they do get stuck in their molts. And unfortunately, that's what happened. The blue fang got stuck in their molt, and uh, she did not recover. She didn't have enough strength. The humidity was actually really f high in there. You can see from the cage. Where's the cage of my Zarnathus? I think. Yeah, it was here. You can see it had plenty of humidity to um, molt out correctly, so I'm not sure what, what the problem was on it. So that sucks, and um, what can you do? But on the brighter note, so if you saw in my video uh, about my P. Miranda, she webbed the entire enclosure, and I did suspect that uh, she may have molted, and sure enough, just uh, yesterday, just before the feeding video, I've got this lovely molt from my Miranda. So let's go check her out. This is currently like a four and a half, maybe five inches. Now she's around six. Probably not going to see her very well, but I'll try my best. And this week I'm going to be mating the... Um, T. Sturmy again and the P. Regalis. What I'm going to be doing with uh, 
Codark 2's male, I'm going to have to leave the male overnight with the female. So right now, I'm currently feeding Zelda, like, you wouldn't believe with a lot of superworms, so that way he doesn't become lunch, just like what Medusa did to Alfred. Don't want to repeat that. But anyway, just wanted to give you an idea of what my P. Miranda looks like right after post-molt. She's certainly very chubby-legged. And that's uh, possibly the best P. Miranda that I have. Well, the only one, but see, it's a very beautiful pokey. It's actually my third favorite next to uh, the uh, P. Safuska and the P. Metallica. Hmm. Sweet. So, I think that's all I have for now. Uh, hope you enjoy it, guys. So, sorry for the long wait of the videos. Just uh, incredibly busy. Right now it's summer, so usually June, July, it's pretty much the peak hour of uh, lawns. Alright guys, uh, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.